What's going on, everybody? Your two favorite political correspondents are back tonight, and we're here to wrap up the five-episode run of the HBO limited series. Just had its last episode, the finale, air on Monday night, and we're here to wrap up the whole entire five-episode run of White House Plumbers. Get the plunger. They are trying to break us. So that's all right. We are back to talk about the entire series. Now that we've seen it, we came, we uh, watched the first episode about a month ago when it aired and we posted our review of the first episode and shared our thoughts on it. And now we've had an opportunity to watch the whole thing and we're back to share our thoughts. Good show. I really enjoyed this. This had just the right amount of comedy and the two leads were fantastic, and as was the supporting cast. Oh, man, S- say supporting cast. It felt like there's a big-name person <laughs> every inch of the way, like yeah, walking down the yeah. hall, they'll see somebody, you know, actor, actress, whatever. There's right. just a lot of people popping up for cameos and things like that. But, yeah, it's a really great ensemble. It's like a buddy cop comedy in, in, in some ways, and also, you know, trying to stay true to historic events, dealing with Watergate. And everything that went on with that and they basically put together a crew you know ex-cia ex you know fbi put their heads together putting this crew together to do some really bad things yeah remember when this was going on and hearing about it obviously it wasn't going on when we were alive it had already ended in the 70s and everything but the repercussions of watergate we heard you know on the news in the 80s and 90s and even now you hear about it still of what happened back in the day and this break in to try to you know get the election in Nixon's favor and it ended up you know backfiring on everybody the two served prison time and uh, you know went down in history as one of the big blunders and big events in political history i really enjoyed woody harrelson as e howard hunt he played it really straight as this, you know, ex FBI guy who had worked with J Edgar Hoover and was, you know, a a statesman and he was really patriotic for his country and thought he was doing the right thing. And, and then you had G Gordon Liddy, who is, you know, uh, played by Justin throw and a very comical role and, you know, very true to G Gordon Liddy in real life. He was a personality, um, you know, both working with the CIA and FBI, both thinking they're doing great things for their country and, you know, the whole time doing these goofy things and, you know, not covering their tracks uh, correctly and ultimately getting in trouble. But watching the two of them together, their relationship uh, was was great on screen. It felt like an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. It had that same sort of comedy flair between the two. Um, I think this was written by the same writers as Veep. So it had a lot of the same uh, comic sensibilities. And I really enjoyed their, you know, episodes where they kind of went undercover, put on the wigs um, and the scenes with them and their families together and just how, you know, they were so loyal to their country to a fault. They didn't like know anything outside of the political world and that sort of world outside of the FBI. They were totally clueless. They had families and didn't really pay too much attention Uh, To them, you know, things were happening at home. The daughter hated, you know, Howard Hunt. uh, And, uh, you know, G. Gordon, Liddy's wife, uh, played by, you know, uh, Judy Greer. And then Lena Hetty playing E. Howard's wife. And, uh, you know, eventually both of them get sucked into this, you know, scheme that they're trying to pull. Um, And it eventually leads to a lot of money coming in. And, of course, not being laundered properly and, like we mentioned, you know, ultimately they get caught, of course. And it, it was just fun watching the two of them bumbling around though. You know, I, I know this is a, you know, something that happened in history, but they really played up, you know, their goofiness for the show. Obviously, <laughs> if the, if these two people were that dumb in real life, you know, it, it was like Lloyd and Harry from Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> you know, really, that's how they played it here, but it was very entertaining and I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, had a great time watching this, you know, series. And like you mentioned, so many cameos, so many familiar faces, people we hadn't seen for a while. Uh, Tig from uh, Sons of Anarchy, uh, you know, our good buddy, uh, Toby Huss, yes, who's been in a lot of stuff lately. We always like seeing that guy. Uh, oh he God. showed up in here. Yeah, Corbin Burnson, uh, you know, all, <laughs> the list goes on and on. Ike Barinholtz, I, I like him. He was funny in this too. Uh, Dom Hill Gleason 
had mm-hmm. a smaller part. Kieran and Shipka, Harry, that, that was a yeah. bad man. They had a few small parts. But, yeah, just a, a stacked cast. But, you know, they really brought their A games. It's a period piece. It feels like back in that time with the clothing and the music and everything going on, it, it really captured that time period. You know, nothing new that we haven't seen before. But it, it was a fun time. You know, it's it's definitely worth a watch, you know, checking out, especially the two main actors behind me. Justin Thoreau, Woody Harrelson were really fantastic. They had the – a great dynamic and uh, kind of opposites, you know, where Woody Harrelson's more like, you know, like more yeah. serious and, you know, Thoreau right. playing Liddy was more comedic, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're really good. Definitely worth, uh, you know, your time in checking this out. We both had a great time with this. Not huge history buffs here, but it was great, you know, going back in that time and, and seeing it through their eyes and exactly what happened to yeah. these buffoons doing some prison time in the end. That being said, I'm going to give the first season of White House Plumbers three men on Max. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five Woody Harrelson hair pieces. I agreed with everything that you said. It was an enjoyable five episode run. Nothing new that we had seen, but uh, you know, the way the two leads played off each other was comedy gold and uh, really enjoyable to watch. With that being said, I am going to give White House Plumbers now streaming on Max a four out of five E. Howard Hunt hair pieces. We want to hear from all you wild Republicans out there. What did you like about the White House plumbers? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to plunge. Subscribe. <laughs> also check out these wild political enthusiasts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and our website, cinefels.com for the latest, greatest TV, movie news and reviews. HBO Max. It's uh, had a lot of shows wrap up within the last couple of days. We've had White House Plumbers and Barry and Secession and uh, there's a new show coming this weekend from the director and creator of Euphoria, The Idol. We're going to be back shortly next week to uh, go over the first episode and share our thoughts with you guys, review it. And we look forward to many more epic and awesome Max shows, HBO shows in the future. To touch on Max, the streaming service as it is, I really like the interface. It's nice and clean. I like the color scheme. Everything's really uh, easy to find. I like the layout so far. Haven't really had too many problems streaming. There's a couple buffer problems during Secession that I had, just little small little uh, you know, uh, instances where it stopped and skipped the frame a little bit. But other than that, it's it's been a nice smooth rollout. Enjoying the service so far. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I canceled our Discovery Plus membership or subscription because it's all on that streaming service now as they merge. So yeah, so far so good. I do like the interface as well. Uh, I didn't like the old one. It was really hard to yeah. find stuff and search for stuff and they cleaned that up a lot. So, so far so mm-hmm. good. Been watching a lot of programs, a lot of movies on on Max. So we're going to be back talking about that more in depth because that is our favorite network. That's right. So thank you guys for watching our review of the five episode run of White House Plumbers starring our good mates, Justin Thoreau and Woody Harrelson. Until the next Cinefellas TV review, I'm Uncle E. Howard Hill. And I'm Uncle Logan Thoreau signing out until the next TV review. Cheers! Cheers! Who we'll called up the toilet in uh, room number 92 of me? <laughs>